Yo, what's going on, guys? Today, we'll be discussing whether or not Hog Rider needs a nerf. I just want to start off by saying thank you to everyone with common sense under Mohammed Light's tweet. <laughs> a lot of top pros, including Lucas X Gamer, who's probably a top five player currently, he said that Hog Rider shouldn't get a nerf, and also. Quite a few other top pros said the same thing. I feel like the general sentiment is that Hog Rider is a pretty balanced card in general. Now there were a few players who said different things. Some of the guys just always love saying Hog Rider should get a nerf. So here's what I have to say about it. Hog Rider is the worst card in Hoggy Q. Oh no! Oh the Skelly Drags just pushed the balloon. We probably lost. Okay I'll just keep talking. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so Hog Rider is pretty much the weakest card in the entire Hog Earthquake deck, besides maybe the Earthquake itself. So I feel like that says something. I think that Hog Rider absolutely does not need a nerf, and what needs a nerf is pretty much every other card in the deck except maybe Skeletons, uh, uh, Earthquake, and Hog Rider itself. Hog Rider's always been pretty balanced, it only became super OP recently with the Evolved Firecracker. Anyways, we'll keep talking later, we have to focus now, I'll go for the Evo Cracker, try to get some good ship damage, we can hog too. <laughs> well played! Well played! This man was really saying well played to us earlier. Well played to you too, my good sir. <laughs> Look at all that damage. We're still not in the clear yet, but this Firecracker would force something out. Okay. <laughs> what a guy. Bro is spamming well played just to miss his fireball a second later. I don't think Firecracker will get a hit here. You guys can see how broken the Evo Cracker is. It's nothing to do with the Hog Rider. It's completely evolved Firecracker. Hoggy Q was actually quite balanced before evolved Firecracker came out. It was even a bit on the weak side, at least on ladder. In competitive play, it was always pretty solid. But nothing unstoppable. I'll go in for the Hog Rider. We're going to have to have a really good defense here. We'll see what happens. I do kind of want to keep our Cracker alive. Uh, it should push itself back so we can get our Mighty Monitor down and everything. Going to Evo Cracker. Pop this ability, kill the Skeleton Dragons. Uh, we do have to take his Tower though. Wait. Wait. Oh, we have to firecracker this side. We have to let our left tower go. Okay, okay. We just have to not lose our tower. <laughs> Very well played to my fine gentleman over here. <laughs> I've been beating this guy so much recently. I feel kind of bad for him. Nah, I'm just kidding. I don't feel bad for him. Good game. Easiest win of this video so far. We got a match. Continuing the discussion on Hog Rider, I would also like to say that I hear a lot of people saying how Hog Rider always gets one hit on the tower. Bro, all you have to do is play any building in Clash Rail and it always fully counters it. Even Cannon or Tombstone for a plus one trade. And you might say, oh well you can Earthquake those things, well then play Bomb Tower and even now Hog Earthquake doesn't break through Bomb Tower. There's a lot of ways to stop Hog Rider. The main reason that Hog Earthquake works is because the Firecracker always manages to get a lot of the damage and just put your opponent in bad spots. Gonna Bomb Tower here, should be King Tower activation, we can go for the Skellies to make sure. Do have to Ice Tiny? Probably gonna be a Ram Rider Monk deck. Haven't faced this in a while. Pretty good start, I do always like going opposite lane, and also King Tower is pretty nice. Gonna Mighty Monitor. Maybe not the best timing, but we could still have something going. I'll pop the ability. He's gonna have goblins here, so I'll go for the pre-log. <laughs> oh, he's dead! <laughs> we can even hog rider this side to pull the monk back, and he has pretty much nothing to stop it. <laughs> Just gonna bomb tower. I think we're pretty much okay. We can skeletons for the monk. Need to get our ice tiny pretty quickly here for the ram rider. Ah, uh, good charge for him, but... Look at the damage on the right side and the left side. I mean, the one time Hog Rider is really good is when you face a non-building deck. Then it gets quite a bit of value. Non-building and non-tornado, I should say. 
Okay, I'll go for the firecracker. Oh, by the way, guys, the nerf I do want to see is to firecracker. I want to see it have the evolution poison projectile things have a smaller radius. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. I don't really know how to say it, but like those little poison clouds that the evo cracker spawns in. We can evo cracker up high. He may ability. A log. Okay, we can just bomb tower. <laughs> Gonna hog rider. He has no way to stop this, I think. Man, hog rider is so much fun. I would never want it to get a nerf ever again. They already nerfed it one time a long time ago. Luckily, it wasn't too big of a nerf. I would also not mind if bomb tower got a slight nerf to something about it. Maybe a slight HP nerf, like 3% less HP or 0.1 second slower attack speed, something of that sort. Anyways, easy win here. Just gonna bomb tower. Oh, Ice Tiny! The goblins pushed it! Good game. We're up against one of the top two Remiest Elis I ever met. This will be a pretty difficult matchup. Maybe we can do something with our firecracker though. Oh, he probably has Royal Giant. I saw him playing RG earlier. We can go in for the ability. Normally he plays Minor Wall Breakers, which is pretty difficult, but this should be a lot more beatable here. I don't think we'll get to a second Mighty Monarch ability in time. Yeah, it will die here. I'll go in for the Hog Rider. He will probably Fisherman, but it will be okay for us. We can Skelly's up high. We just have to be so careful of his Evo RG. Okay, I'll take the King Tower activation. Might help out a little bit against Ghost, mainly. We can Mighty Monitor. Gonna Ice Tiny. We will get our Evo Cracker next, which will be pretty good for us. We can Logway the Goblin. It's gonna go in for the Hog Rider too. He has no Fisherman in Cycle. Gonna Ability. He may have to take a lot of damage on the left. We can also Evo Cracker to chip down the tower. Skelly's for his Fisherman. Perfect. <laughs> oh, he's in trouble. Look at his tower. Oh, wait, we could be in trouble too. Oh no. Okay, gonna try to bomb tower to push this off. He will have to respond to that cracker. Okay. Uh, gonna log this back. I think we're pretty much okay. It might get one more hit, but it won't be too bad. Oh, nothing. <laughs> Beautiful start. We can just go in for the hog rider at four. He's in trouble. <laughs> we're Remy Eli-ing the heck out of Remy Eli. <laughs> it feels so good just like wrecking him after he does all those magic archer tornadoes to me all the time. <laughs> Not so poor guy. Gonna bomb tower early. We have to wait a second here then go in for the mighty monitor. Gonna log for his e-spirit. Okay, smart e-spirit placement. Gonna firecracker again. I think we're pretty much okay. We can go in for the Hog Rider, he has no Fisherman, we can just block this one. Should be at least one hit. Maybe a bit of Firecracker damage, not too bad. <laughs> Why would you RG all the way in the back? We can just go in for the Mighty Monitor and I think he won't have enough time. We can Hog Rider and he can't really stop this. Alright, I think I'm officially their Emiest Eli ever. He's only top 2. Easy win. Yo, no way. It's Max from Brawl Stars. I'm a big fan of this character. No, I'm just kidding. If you play Max, get out of here. You're not welcome. <laughs> no, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> Gonna go for the Mighty Monitor ability. Oh, guys, one thing I did want to tell you is that I am planning to run a half marathon in a couple weeks, either on August 12th or 13th. I'm pretty excited for it. I've only run at most... A little bit over a 10k before so this will be a pretty good challenge i'm gonna be training a lot these next couple weeks for it i think there will be quite a bit of elevation too so it might be quite a challenge i run around four or five times a week currently let me know how much you guys run Ooh, nice firecracker look at all that damage just dodged his log too <laughs> 
<laughs> Gonna Mighty Monor, he probably will play something. Perfect. What does he have? Aw, oh, Firecracker. We can go in for the ability. Oh no, kind of got messed up. I'm fine with his damage on the right side. I do want to go same lane here. We can Ice Tiny to kite this. Man, I want to be as fast as the Ice Tiny. I will be soon enough. <laughs> Everyone's talking about nerfing the Hog Rider. Bro, they have to nerf me. Soon enough, I'm going to be faster than the Pig Rider. <laughs> or at least on par with my boy. Gonna Firecracker. Anyways, like I was saying earlier, I run four or five times a week. I'm curious how much you guys run a week because I don't know like what's the best amount to run a week. Like I don't know if I should run pretty much every day or have a few rest days. Currently I do have a few rest days just to recover and stuff. I usually have two or three short runs and one or two long runs. Gonna hog rider. Pre-log too. Make sure you can't do anything. An ice tiny. Oh no, ability. Oh no. Bro, our tower just. Just got. I don't know. What, what happened to our tower? I'm speechless. Gonna Evo Cracker. Go in for another Hog Rider. We're already back to our Earthquake, too. Not the best spot for us now. He doesn't even have to respond to our Cracker. Gonna Mighty Monitor. I'm getting a bit sleepy now. And this... Firecracker spam gameplay isn't helping keep me awake. <laughs> I'll go in for the Hog Rider. Uh, interesting push by him. Kind of a waste, I feel like. Our Cracker's gonna die. We can skill he's up high. Mighty Monitor. We just have to defend super well and get some Earthquake damage. Okay. I'll go in for the Hog Rider with this. We can pre-Earthquake too. Oh, he messed up. He messed up. <laughs> Gonna ability kill the bats and maybe do something. Guess not. <laughs> uh, Gonna Hog Rider. To be honest, guys, bats are the pest of Clash Royale. Ooh, this might get a hit. Let's go. Okay. Anyways, guys, as we hopefully finish up here, hopefully we can Earthquake Cycle him out. I will say that I think Mighty Modern is one of the most deserving cards of a nerf right now. And I think it will get a nerf, hopefully, in the next set of balance changes. At least they're planning on doing it, unless the community gave them different feedback or something. I wish they did something else with it though, I feel like they're always giving it the same nerfs and buffs. It would be nice if they tried making it have no knockback on its death bomb and stuff like that. Please get a hit hog. Oh no. Okay, just have to be a bit careful. Bomb tower. We just have to not let the evo cracker connect. <laughs> He's laughing. Uh, gonna evo cracker. Earthquake. We just need... Like what? Yeah, just one more Earthquake. Alright, probably the second or third easiest win of the video. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye!